My mother has always been a proud Maori woman. She cared about her people. Her first protest when she was only 18, that inspiration came from her dad, Hiremia Te Wake, who was the chief of Pangaru. In 1951, she came to tell me that she's now the president of Maori Women's Welfare League. I remember her uh, talking about how a woman is the prime minister of her house. You have a way to a of leading your family, lead your people. You are the leader of your whare. And that's how she, she used to talk, you know, but it's more like trying to build up the young woman and be proud that you're a, a woman. She would say to young female leaders, give it your best shot. Because she was far reposeful and fearless, don't be feared by anything, give everything your best shot. My mother's proudest achievement was the actual landmark. I say that because it made our people aware of the amount of loss as regards to their lands. To lead such a hikoi, she believed that it must be a peaceful march, you know. She kept on telling the marchers, you know, this is a peaceful march. This is going to take the message down to Parliament. She wanted Pākehā and Māori to come together and work together. That was her call. Kia kotahi, te iwi or Aotearoa, be together, be one. I was proud of the fact that she had these attributes, Aronui, Tuauri, and Tuatea. That means wisdom, understanding, and perseverance. And she had those attributes with her, and she taught us all that. She was a challenger. She was a leader all the time. That's the kind of um, wairua and the spirit that she had. 